Okay, we got these funny looking keys that are really old. Left hand ignition on this beast. So hopefully it'll start now. We've had it plugged in for like a week. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Right on. So the engine is like literally right here. Listen to her purr. Well, we just cleaned out the camper and it is looking fresh. Washing the pillows and everything, or the covers for all the pillows, and just vacuumed all the nooks and crannies. Now we just got to bring a bucket of soap and water in here and do all the corners and uh, put it back together, seal up the outside, and we have somebody coming to look at the engine, which you'll see next weekend. And then, oh, we also might have my grandpa might have a, an extra solar panel as well as my neighbor said he had an extra solar panel, so. We'll look into both of those and maybe get one or both of them and uh, hook those up as soon as we can and we might need to buy a new battery we're gonna buy four new tires fix fix possibly an issue with the front end we're not sure if there is one or not and then we're gonna do like a new carburetor and find out what that ticking noise is we're thinking it's the carburetor so we're either gonna rebuild or buy a new carburetor so we'll see you guys later <laughs> FRP, fiberglass, press something or other. Four. This is gonna be in our shower. It's the same stuff that goes in uh, Boston pizzas and probably a lot of kitchens. Lasts forever, 20 years. All right, so what we're gonna do here in the shower is uh, quickly staple the wood that's currently loose back to the wall. And then we're gonna measure this out. And then we're gonna tr uh, color it onto a piece of cardboard. And then we're going to take that piece of cardboard, cut it out, and then cut the plastic that we bought the other day onto, or into the shape of this, and then glue it to the wall, and then cock everything up. So we're also going to be plasticking this sh shelf and drilling holes for to mount the taps back on so there's no water getting in around there and rotting things out. And then we're basically going to put a little trim along here and in the corners for the board to slide into. <clears throat> and then everything else will be glued now that it's uh, stapled. It's a little tighter. It's hard to get this tight because there's no wood inside of this. T typically a lot of this stuff is just glued together. Um, to the insulation or most of these don't even have insulation so this is glued to the metal on the outside with very little insulation a little bit of plastic in there so let's keep on going we're getting her done
update on the bathroom or shower. How do I make this? I'm trying to make it brighter. There you go. It's really hard. Um, it's a little dirty, but we got all of the uh, FPR on the side. FRP. FRP. That's all in. We just got some caulking to do. So this is 100% waterproof. Yeah. It's going to be way better than the wood that was in it. What's up guys? Just got our plywood for the bike mount inside the camper. Alright, so we're trying to basically figure out a way to mount these uh, car roof mounts to this plywood. Um, so we're probably just going to end up screwing or bolting it so that we can still remove them and put the couch back and or turn it into a bed if we have guests. Um, and then we'll obviously have to store the cushion somewhere so we'll have to figure that out. It's probably going to go up top or down below here. Basically, um, you can't see it right now, but you just saw a clip of us drilling the hinge onto the back side. So right now this opens like a chest, so that's great. We can get to the storage down below. Uh, it'll primarily be bike stuff, so that the bikes will be coming off, then we'll be accessing what's under there, so it's all good. And then this can still turn into a bed, so it doesn't uh, deteriorate the price of the camper as well. So it kind of works for both worlds and uh, everything will be sturdy and good to go. So yesterday we added this roof rack onto the top of the van and basically how we did is we got this galvanized steel here. Um, it's kind of shaped like a U. It's hard to kind of explain from here but you'll see, you see it uh, getting cut in another video. Um, so we basically just notched it and then bent these side pieces inwards on both sides which created a bar and then we bent it down uh, to the length of one inch. And, uh, and then just drilled it in both sides. So we did that so it's extra thick metal here, super rigid, and then we just mounted the roof rack to that. We did the same thing on the other side as this. So those are self-tapping screws, so they're stuck on there for a long time. If they ever come loose, then I'll just finish uh, drilling all the way through and put a bolt uh, with a nut and washer on there, and then it'll definitely never come off super excited to have that on here. We were a little worried about trying to get this welded or something like that. But it's super secure. Now we have tons more storage up here that we can keep things like winter clothes or bike tires and all the things that we don't want to keep down inside. Dad's just finishing up the caulking, so we're re-caulking all these areas like this, all the way around the van. Things like lights, uh, roof vents, all the windows are getting redone. And uh, other than that, we're looking good for today. We're almost done. And then we're hopefully going to get a bike ride in and uh, keep on continuing on.